The final core Apex tool you need to know is Data Manipulation Language, which in short is called DML. DML pushes any changes you make to records in your code directly into the Salesforce database. DML is basically your save button. Before you use DML, the changes you make to records in your code only exist in your code. And if you don't use DML, everything you do would be lost. There are three types of DML you'll be using often. The first is DML to create a new S object record. The record can be of any type, account, contact, or even a custom object. The next is DML to update an existing S object record. And the final is to delete an existing S object record. There are two ways to use DML in Salesforce. The first is against a single record, and it's the way we've been doing DML so far in this course. It only saves one record at a time, but it's easy and straightforward to use. The second way you use DML is on multiple records. You can do DML on a list collection as long as it's a list of S objects, like cases. Your list could have 200 cases, or it could only have one. It doesn't matter, your DML will work on all of them. Doing DML on lists is a more efficient way to code, but it forces you to do a little extra work to make sure all your records are in a list first. As you become a better programmer, you'll be doing DML more and more on lists instead of single records.